Hi everyone, welcome to Irrational Math Academy. We'll solve five questions in this video. So let's start. Nikhil stated that the pair of linear equation x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 and 2x plus 4y minus 12 equal to 0 represents coincident lines. Do you agree with him? Give the reasons. So before starting this one, we need to know linear equation is represented by ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now, if you have two linear equations, how will represent a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0, a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equal to 0. If you have three linear equations, what will do? a3x plus b3y plus c3 equal to 0. That is what we will do. Now, we know the conditions. If they are intersecting lines or if they are coincident lines or if they are parallel lines. If a1 by a2 if a1 by a2 a is not equal to b1 by b2 if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, these lines are what? Intersecting lines. Intersecting lines. If you draw this one, these are the intersecting lines. And we have unique solution. When we talk about solution, we have unique solution. Now, if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, but not equal to c1 by c2, then these lines are parallel lines. These lines are what? Parallel lines. And when we talk about solution, it has no solution. This is first case and this is second case. Now we will talk about third case. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. If this condition satisfies, the lines are constant lines. One line, let us take this AB and the other line overlaps this line. Let us take this P and D. And what is the solution of these two lines? Infinite solutions. Infinite solutions. Now, now we will discuss our question. They gave two lines, right? X plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0. What is the a value? a value is 1. b value, b1 value is 2 and c1 value is minus 4. Second line, 2x plus 4y minus 12 equal to 0. a2 value is B2 value is 4 and C2 value is minus 4. Now if you see the condition A1 by A2 value, what is the A1 by A2 value we are getting 1 by 2 and B1 by B2 value 2 by 4, 1 by 2 and C1 by C2 that is minus 4 by minus 2 by minus 4. 4 ones are 4 ones are 4 3s are 1 by 3. So a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 which is not equal to c1 by c2. So a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 which is not equal to c1 by c2. So which type of lines a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 
which is not equal to C1 by C2. So these lines are what? Parallel lines. Do you agree with him? No. Because those are not coincident lines. Reason is this is a condition. This is the reason why I don't agree with the Nikhil. Clear? Next. Comment upon the nature of the roots of quadratic equation. Before solving this, discriminant is denoted by D. Okay. D equal to B square minus 4AC. If B square minus 4AC value is greater than 0, then the roots are real and distinct. If b square minus 4ac equal to 0, if b square minus 4ac value is equal to 0, a real and same. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, that is negative to get no real roots. No real roots. Is it clear? So, if you get b square minus 4ac greater than 0, nature of roots will be real and distinct and b square minus 4ac equal to 0, real and same roots, b square minus 4ac, you get less than 0, then no real roots. So, standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Now, let me write down the equation x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. If I compare with this, a value is 1. Remember here, by default, here the value is 1. 1 into x square, x square. Is it clear? So, some may think it is 0. No. If it is 0, you will get a this term as 0. b value 4. You need to include signs also. Here, plus 4 is there. This is the reason I wrote. If it is minus 4, then B value should be minus 4. C value equal to 4. Now we got A value, B value and C value, right? Now let me substitute in the discriminant. That is B square minus 4AC. B square minus 4AC. What is B value? 4. A value is 1. C value is 4. 4 square, 16 minus 4 into 1, 4, 4 into 4, 16. So, what I got? 0. So, B square minus 4 AC value, I got a 0. Now, what is the nature of the roots? Nature of the roots are real and same. They didn't ask us to find out the nature of the roots, just they asked us to Comment upon the nature of the uh, nature of the quadratic equation. So real and same roots. Give the answer. Next, the zeros of the polynomial are given. Okay, what are the zeros of the polynomial? Option A, one comma three, B minus one comma three, C one comma minus three, and D minus one comma minus. You can do by both ways. I'll show you the first way. If I want to find out the uh, zeros of the polynomial, what I'll do is x square plus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. If I solve this one, x square plus x plus 3x plus 3 equal to 0. As you know here, how did I write this x plus 3x? First term, this is first term, second term and third term. If I multiply first term and third term, I'll get what? 3x square. I need to split in such a way that if I multiply, I should get 3x and if I add, I should get a plus 4x. So, x and 3x. If I multiply x into 3x, I will get 3x square. If I add x plus 3x, I will get 4x. That is what I required. So, let me take these two terms. From here, I can take x common, x plus 1. From here, I can take 3 common. x plus 1, I can take common. x 
plus 1 equal to 0 x plus 3 equal to 0 x equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 3 what is the answer minus 1 and minus 3 so option d is the right answer this is one way of doing the other way is other way is you can substitute the values let me substitute the a value okay a option value will let me substitute and i need to get a zero if i substitute let me substitute option a values so p of 1 equal to 1 for both values i should get zero okay then only i can say they are zeros of polynomial if one value is so if you look at here what i'll get 1 plus 4 plus 3 so what i'll get 8 so if one value is not satisfying this is not my option next go for this one i can check 3 also but if one value is not option definitely this is not the option minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus 4 into minus 1 plus 3 so 1 minus 4 plus 3 1 plus 3 4 4 minus 4 0 so first option uh, minus 1 value is so let me substitute 3 3 square plus 4 into 3 plus 2 9 plus 12 plus 2 21, 23 you are getting. So this is not the option. Next, one value already we substituted here. So this is also not option. So we get this value because already minus 1 we substituted. Now let me substitute with minus. If I substitute these values, I should get what? Polynomial value 0. Minus 3 plus square plus 4 into minus 3 plus some 9 plus 8 minus minus 4 is the 12 plus 3 9 plus 3 12 12 minus 12 0 is it clear next if one zero of the polynomial is reciprocal of the other then what is the value of t before this we need to remember sum of the zeros of polynomial is minus b by a and the product of the zeros of polynomial is c by a. Here what is the condition they give? One zeros of polynomial is reciprocal of other. If one zero of polynomial is alpha, the other would be reciprocal of this that is alpha. Don't write on 1 by beta. Clear? So whenever you come across this uh, statement, one zeros of polynomial is reciprocal, then use this condition. Use this condition. So, if you compare this with the ax square plus a, I think it is x square, okay. a x square plus bx plus c. So, what I will get here? a value would be 6, b value would be 37, and c value is minus k minus 2. Now, 1 0 of polynomial is alpha, the other is 1 by alpha. So, in place of this, if I substitute alpha into 1 by alpha equal to c by a minus k minus 2 by what is a red 6. So, alpha into 1 by alpha, what you will get here? Alpha by alpha 1 equal to minus k minus 2 by 6. If I multiply, if I take the 6 to the side, what happens? 6 equal to my with minus multiply minus k plus 2. Plus 2, if I take this side, what happens? 4 equal to minus k. k equal to minus 4. The answer is minus 4. Next. If three coins are tossed simultaneously, what is the probability of getting at most one tail? Probability of the event is favorable outcome by 
by all possible outcomes. Or sample space you can write out. Now, if three coins are tossed, let me write down the sample space of this one. Tail, tail, tail. Head, head. Next, tail, head, head. Next, tail, head, tail. Tail, tail. Head, head, tail, or head, tail, head, head, tail, tail. So if you toss three coins simultaneously, this is the sample space you get. Now, what is the condition? What is the probability of getting at most one tail? means at most when they say at most it means maximum okay at least means minimum now probability of getting at most one tail Sample space is what? 8. Now, if you look at here, 3 tails. At most, 1 tail means it should not be more than 1. If it is 0 tails, it is accepted, but it should not be more than 1 tail. So, this is not accepted. Okay, this is accepted because no tails. At most, 1 tail means less than 1 tail only. 1 tail, not accepted. 2 tails, at most 1 tail. 2 tails. One tail, one tail. So one, two, three, four. Four by eight or one by two is answer. One by two is not given, I think. Okay. Four by eight is the answer. I hope you understood and if you still have thought, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you and all the best.